Okay, thanks to our bug in Miss Decibel's office, we now have all the information we need. It appears she has been producing counterfeit documents for La Paradox, creating a false family history that will make him an esteemed member of royalty in the present day. I've managed to inspect some of the documentation, and believe me, if we allow him to get away with this, his wealth and power will make him untouchable. I believe he is planning this to be his last and greatest caper. The key to stopping him begins with us getting through that security door in the lamp shop. I haven't been able to discover what's behind it, but we know that's where Decibel will deliver the papers to La Paradise. However, since we don't want to announce our presence, we need a diversion for the guards. So I've taken the liberty of fashioning an outfit for Carmelita, who will use it to lure the guards away from their posts by, uh, performing a belly dance. What? Possibly your best plan ever, Bentley. I'm sorry I didn't ask, Carmelita, but you're the only one who can pull this off. Uh, Bentley, I, I could do it. I am not getting into that outfit. I realize it's a bit revealing, but think of it as going undercover. Bentley? I'm positive the Murray could squeeze into that thing. Hey, Carmelita, you should model that outfit for us to make sure it fits. Shut up, Ringtail. I'm only doing this for the team. Listen, silk is very elastic. All right, let's move out. We don't have any time to waste. Okay, Carmelita, we need you to distract those guards and get them away from that door. Yeah, bust a move, Carmelita. How about I bust your face, Cooper? We're counting on you, Carmelita. Meet us inside once you can lose the guards. Bentley, you owe me big time for this one. Hey, you big ape!
goodness, Interpol will never know about this. Bentley back for this. I am thinking I should go no further. I have passed my greatest wisdom on to you. The last of my friends are now retired, and I have had enough snakes and scorpions and climbing for three lifetimes. Besides, I was thinking someone should watch over Carmelita to make sure she is safe. All right, Salim. We couldn't have made it this far without you, but I think we can handle it from here. You've definitely earned your retirement. Go enjoy it. And the belly dancing. Thank you. I win. underground docking station for La Paradox's blip. No wonder we haven't seen that thing floating around. So, what's our next move, Bentley? Well, first we need something to distract those guards, so I can get to that control room. I whipped up a surprise for Miss Decibel with the leftover material from Carmelita's outfit, but I think it might work better here. Finally! Just point me in the direction of the changing room and... What the... I can use the security cameras to guide the RC car. Go, go, go! Two? This is 
ridiculous. Control room. I'll have to hack the controls to open that gate. Time to show this security system who's boss. Too easy, overriding security, power grid rerouting, accessing laser network, PC load letter shut down in three, two, one, yes. Uh, 
Bentley, what just happened? I'm not sure. I must have tripped some kind of fail-safe backup. Hold on a sec. Murray, we can't wait on Bentley. We won't get past those security cannons, and those rat troopers look serious. Murray, remember to use the circle button to stomp and pick up things. Use the square button to toss those rats, pal. All right! Time to kick some rodent butt! behind as usual, may you never change. And may you always stay downwind. Ah, Cooper, you're so pathetic. You don't even realize you've already lost. We haven't lost yet, the paradox. Oh no. Bonjour, my large friend. What took you so long? Oh, drat! Celine! Hello, Cyril. I found this filthy old scoundrel unconscious outside. Actually, he's yesterday's trash. Precisely why I threw him away. But I don't understand. I thought you were after him. You're right. You don't understand. I don't care about that old bag of bones. Just his cane. Which, as you can see, I already have. Uh-oh. Double drat. Well, good. Then our deal is complete. I'm coming aboard. Hold that blimp. So sorry, Sherry. But with Monsieur Cooper here, I am afraid the schedule has changed. And I must make my exit now. I cannot risk that flea-bitten rat ruining my plans. Return to the present, and the paradox establishes a royal ancestry for himself. All of our futures are in peril. You've got to stop them. How, Celine? I tried to stop him. He'll be fine, Sly. Right now, you've got to stop that pachyderm. I'm on it, like stink on a skunk. Hello, Cooper. How do you like my new toy? Well, the face is just as this ugly, but at least it doesn't Cooper. smell. I will orchestrate your demise! Why, those containers look fragile! You'll need to find a way to get across before they break! I'm gonna need an eardrum transplant after this. This is your funeral march! <laughs> Try dancing to this! Watch out! This song is really killer! Oh, 
better decoys are deadly, Sly! Stay away from them! Look at the time! I don't think either of you is going to make this fly. Wait to get my hands on your cane, too, Koopa. Come on, pal. Hey, blow harder. You might get that thing out of your trunk. Rush, Koopa, and end this. Wait, it would 
seems this game is finished. How boring. We have already reached maximum weight capacity. Perhaps due to my beautiful new guest? Carmelita! <laughs> Get your paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal! I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces! Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera! Yes. Well, thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noses, and as for your music, hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! <laughs> Who are you, filthy, backstabbing, two-timing scoundrel? <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying it. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady... She has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Snake Cooper! Ah eh well, c'est la vie! We may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. Le Paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestors' canes, and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives. 